Mr. Nisman has not actually proclaimed that it was a suicide or a murder yet, so we really don't know. Um, the president, as, as you mentioned, the president on her Facebook page, hours after the death, published a note saying that she believed it was a suicide, only to reverse her opinion three days later and insist that Nisman was murdered. But the official investigation has yet to reveal whether it was a suicide or a murder. Well, it seems clear from what we're gleaning from this investigation so far that at least the tide of public perception is shifting in the direction of seeing this as something involving foul play. Uh, one of the, the most troubling facts is the report that they've found this indictment in his trash. Uh, tell us about that indictment, and in particular, given that the content is, is an allegation that President Fernandez uh, de Kirchner uh, uh, protected Iranians accused in that bombing, what was the outcome of that? Where are those Iranians now? Those Iranians, we don't know their exact whereabouts, but we're pretty confident that they're in Iran. There are still Interpol red notices active for several of them, which would make international travel very difficult. Um, in terms of the arrest warrants found in Mr. Neesman's trash basket, um, as you mentioned, investigators found a 26-page document that outlined a request for the arrest of President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner and also her foreign minister, among one other official. Um, it was dated J June 2014. And the important thing is, I mean, this highlights very intense uh, tensions between Nisman and the government. The fact that it was thrown out and wasn't included in the 300-page document that he later presented to courts and was supposed to present to Congress mm. would suggest that he uh, didn't want to proceed with the with the motion. A troubling turn of events there. Uh, w one other interesting wrinkle in this story is that the president has been pushing for the intelligence agency of the country to be dissolved. W what's the status on that and what's the potential link there? So the Senate, in a plenary session, is debating that movement today. Um, it's a very controversial move. The opposition is actually sitting out of the, abate, the debate. Um, they claim that Christina is only pushing this reform to show that she's in charge of the agenda and that it doesn't actually solve the underlying problems with the intelligence agency. Um, Christina does have a majority in the Congress and the Senate, so the reforms are expected to move forward. All right, thank you, Haley Cohen of The Economist. A, an incredible moment there in Argentina, one that a lot of analysts are saying could lead to an unprecedented shakeup in the government. We'll be watching. And back here in the U.S., some news from the White House coming in just now. Word that Obama senior advisor Dan Pfeiffer is going to be leaving.